About a few months ago, I made a video showcasing mods that improves GTA 4's gameplay on its notoriously broken PC port. The mods in that video proved to have fixed a lot of the issues that Grand Theft Auto 4 has had over the years while also appending a few extra necessary features into the game that would further modernize it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install all the mods from that video in order to improve GTA 4's gameplay. If you're interested in seeing those mods being showcased and used in action, then click on the card in the top right to see it. I would highly recommend you do that before installing all of the mods in this video. But anyways, I hope you do enjoy this video, and if you do, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, I would strongly recommend downgrading to patch 1070 or 1080 for GTA 4 in order for these mods to be used all together. Starting with mod number 1, Zalika Patch by Zalika1351. Zalika Patch is a mod that's responsible for fixing a lot of the issues with the game's PC port, such as but not limited to the bike sliding when at high FPS, cutscenes being jittery and buggy, and fixing the climbing quick time event in the final mission of the game. Installing this mod is very simple. Once you download it from GTA forums, open it and drag and drop play GTA4.exe, GFWL Protection Disabler 2019.asi, and both Zalika Patch, ASI, and INI into your game's directory. Just like that. Mod number 2, GTA 4 Extra Options by Zalika1351. This mod incorporates extra tweaks and options to the pause menu in GTA 4, such as being able to allow player movement when zoomed into the scope of a sniper rifle, changing your FOV, and altering the way how the camera in-game works situationally. Installing this mod is also simple. Download the mod, open it, and drag and drop both ASI files into your game's directory. Mod number 3, DXVK by Doi Sujin. DXVK improves and fixes the performance of GTA 4. I explained what it does more explicitly in the video where I showcased it, so I would check it out to understand more about it. There is a limitation to using DXVK though. Your GPU must support Vulkan and a certain API version of it. As of right now, DXVK 2.3.1 requires having Vulkan API version 1.3. In the description, I have provided three links, one to the download, and two other ones to help you discover whether or not your GPU is compatible with the Vulkan API. So yes, installing DXVK without your GPU supporting Vulkan will cause a ton of problems for you. Unlike checking for its prerequisites, DXVK is very simple to install. Since GTA 4 is a 32-bit game, you're going to want to open the zip file and go to the x32 folder, and then drag and drop the d3d9.dll into your game's directory. Mod number 4, Improved Animations Pack by B-Dog. This mod is incredible at fixing and improving GTA 4's combat, especially with the removal of the firing delay on assault rifles, having faster drive-by rates of fire, and having proper reload animations for certain weapons in the game. First up, open up Open 4 and make sure that you do have your game's directory selected, and then after that, click Edit Mode and click Yes. Let's start with this IV Common Data folder. In Open 4, go to Common, Data, and drag this WeaponInfo.xml into there. Next, go to the IV PC Anim Anim folder. In Open 4, go to PC, Anim, Anim.image, and drag all of these WAD files into there. These next three folders are for DLC only. Let's start with the TBOGT PC Anim Anim folder. In Open 4, go to TBOGT PC Anim anim.image and drag and drop all of these WAD files into there. Next up with the TLAD common data folder, go into TLAD on open4, go to common, data, and drag this weapon info.xml into there. And lastly, let's do the TLAD PC anim anim folder. Go into there, and then in open4, go to TLAD, go to PC, anim, anim.image, and drag and drop all of these WAD files into there. Mod number 5, Responsive Plus by Lord Criminal. This mod ultimately improves the realism of both driving and combat, and also allows for a more challenging playthrough. After downloading the mod from GTA forums, open it and you'll see three folders with one text file. Now, we're only going to look at one folder depending on your preference, either IV or EFLC. Now, if you plan on playing the DLCs with these mods, then I would focus on the EFLC folder. If you don't plan on playing the DLCs, then just stick to the IV folder. Whether you're doing the IV or the EFLC folder, drag the PC folder into your game's directory through Open4. Now, in both Open4 and the zip file, go to the common folder. 
go ahead and drag the text folder from the zip file into Open4. Then in both windows, go into the data folder. Drag and drop everything except for the CD images folder from the zip file into Open4. Then in the zip file and Open4, go into the CD images folder and then open up script.image. Next up, drag and drop both of these SEO files from the zip file into Open4. Now for DLC users, the TBOGT and TLAD folders are simple. Just open each one up in the zip file and open for and repeat the same steps that you did previously for the common MPC folders, but in these DLC folders now. Now, if you've installed the improved animations pack, then you'll need to do this one last step. Go into the additional options folder and go into the improved animations pack compatibility. Now, if you plan on playing the DLCs with these mods, then focus on the EFLC folder. If not, then stick to the IV folder. Simply go into one of them and drag and drop the common folder and any other ones into your game's directory. Mod number 6, Liberty Tweaks by Cat Smackaroo. This mod appends a few game-changing features into GTA 4 such as quick saving, weapon holstering, the presence of weapon magazines upon reloading, and so much more. You'll need to download three things in order for this mod to function appropriately, which are all linked down in the description. First of all, download ivsdk.net, Klong's coding library, and then of course, Liberty Tweaks. Let's first install ivsdk.net. Simply open up the zip file and then drag and drop all the files into your game's directory. Next up, install Klonk's coding library. Simply open up the zip file and then drag and drop these two files into your game's directory. Now for Liberty Tweaks, drag and drop the ivsdk.net folder into your GTA 4 directory. Now, if you've installed GTA 4 Extra Options mod from earlier, then you'll want to go into your games directory and go through ivsdk.net, go to the scripts folder, and find libertytweaks.ini, right click on it, and open the file as a notepad. Simply what you'll want to do is go and find move with sniper and change this enable equals 1 to enable equals 0. And also do the same thing with tweakable FOV. Enable equals 1 to enable equals 0. This will ultimately disable these functions from being used in Liberty Tweaks because you already have them in another mod. After that, make sure to save the file and then you can exit. Mod number 7, Bullet Penetration by Internet Rob. This mod fixes the issue that GTA 4 has of materials being impenetrable to shoot through, such as certain types of window glass, slabs and sheets of wood, plastic, and so much more. To install it, simply open the zip file and go into the main files folder and drag and drop the common and PC folder into your game's directory. Mod number 8, Beaten and Bruised by Internet Rob. This is an animation mod pack that is designed to make NPCs react to their injuries more differently and realistically. These animations vary depending on the severity of the injury on the NPC. Simply open the zip file and go into the main files folder. Then go to Open4 and browse through PC, Anim, Anim.image, and drag and drop all of these WAD files into your Open4. Number 9, Simple Traffic Loader by It's Clonk Andre. The Simple Traffic Loader mod essentially fixes a major issue that most people have with modding GTA 4. That is the famous taxi bug, where only taxis will spawn. It also allows for a larger variety of vehicles to spawn into the world. To install it, simply drag both Simple Traffic Loader ASI and INI into your game's directory. Mod number 10, Sprint in Interiors by Scott1. With this mod, you can now sprint freely in buildings as you please. Now the zip file for this mod is a little bit complicated, so you're going to want to go to this folder, go to this folder, go to the zip file, and then once you open that zip file, go to here, and then drag and drop the PC folder into your game's directory. If you want to use this mod on the DLCs as well, then simply drag and drop the TBOGT and the TLAD folders into your game's directory as well. Now, there is one last and final step for DLC players. Close out of the second zip file and go back to the first one. Open this forgot this one grab this two folder. <laughs> You're gonna wanna go to open four, Go to TBOGT, go to PC, go to data, go to maps, go to interiors, and go ahead and drag and drop this e2int7.ide file into Open4. 
Mod number 11, another one map and radar by Donitz et al. This is the map and radar mod that comes with all the different street names and topographic features. It is super good. When you download and open the zip file, it does come with a lot of different files and folders that will go in different places. Let's first go to our GTA 4 directory and go to common and data. In there, you're going to want to drag and drop both HUD and HUD color dat files from the zip file into here. Next up in our GTA directory, browse through PC and textures. In there, you're going to want to drag and drop the blips and HUD WTD files from the zip file into here. Now, stay where you're at in your GTA 4 directory, and let's go back to the zip file. Now, if you prefer to have street names in your radar and map, then click on the With Street Names folder. If not, then click on the Without Street Names folder. Next, I would choose a resolution that works well with your system. If you have a low-end system, I would recommend sticking with the 2048 resolution, but if you have a high enough end system, then you could go with 6144. Now, even if you do have a high-end system, I would still recommend going with the 4096 map because it already does enough quality for you. Whichever one you end up going with, you want to go ahead and drag and drop the front end 360 WTD file from the zip file into your textures folder. Lastly, go to your GTA 4 directory and browse through PC, models, CD images, and drag and drop this radar.image file into there. Mod number 12, Customizable Nico by Donuts. This mod allows for more customization on Nico's clothing and overall appeal. To install it, simply drag and drop both the common and the PC folder into your game's directory. Next up, with Open 4, go to PC, Models, CD Images, PetProps.Image, and in the zip file, also open up PetProps.Image and drag and drop both these WDD files into Open 4. Mod number 13, Better Wardrobes by Zalika1351. In order to use the extra clothing and appearance options from Customizable Nico, which was the last mod, you're going to want to get this. To install it, simply drag and drop the wardrobe mod ASI file into your games directory. Mod number 14, Wiz Wireless Phone by Rockstar Chicken. <laughs> this is the phone mod that I showcased in that video which makes it look less bland and a lot more complete. When you open up the zip file for the mod, there are multiple WDR files and one WTD file. In Open 4, go to PC, Data, Maps, Props, LEV underscore DES, and then Minigame.image and drag and drop all of these four files besides the readme.txt into there. And there you go! You've officially got all the mods that I showcased that would improve GTA 4's gameplay. Like I said in that showcase video, I would strongly suggest that you install all of these mods on patch 1080 since it has the best performance compared to 1070. If you did enjoy this video, or if it did help you to some extent, then hitting the like button and subscribing helps me out tremendously. Thank you so much for watching! To watch all of these mods being showcased in action, then check out the video that's on the top left of the screen. If you'd like to learn how to downgrade GTA 4 to patch 1070 or patch 1080, then do check out the tutorial video that's on the top right of the screen. The video that's on the bottom right showcases two mods that beautifies the visuals and graphics of GTA 4, that being Ice Enhancer 4 and Project Revive. Otherwise, enjoy your GTA 4 playthrough with these mods!